Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus NH4OH. We have magnesium sulfate here and ammonium hydroxide. The ammonium hydroxide, often you'll see this as NH3 plus H2O. That would give us the ammonium hydroxide. But here in this equation, let's work with this ammonium hydroxide as NH4OH. So first off, we balance the molecular equation. I can see that there are two of these ammonium ions and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium hydroxide. Now there are two hydroxides. That's okay. We have two here and we have the two ammoniums here, two ammoniums here. It looks like that balances the molecular equation. Everything else is the same. Next, we can write the state for each substance. And that's going to look like this. So sulfates in general are soluble. So the magnesium sulfate here is soluble. Anything with the ammonium ion, that's going to be pretty much soluble. So all those are aqueous. Magnesium hydroxide, this is actually insoluble. A very little bit will dissolve. So because it's insoluble, we're going to call this a solid. So this will be our solid. It'll actually be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Once we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in our reactants, I see right here I have a sulfate ion. In the products, I also have a sulfate ion. So these are the same. They're spectator ions. We can cross them out. I have two of these ammonium ions here in the reactants and two again in the products. These are spectator ions. Cross those out. But what's left, that's going to give us the net ionic equation for MgSO4 plus NH4OH. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. If you note, we have 2 plus here. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. 2 plus and 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. We have a net charge of 0 over here in the products. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Note that our magnesium hydroxide, that will be the solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for magnesium sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.